Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase preview, as a matter of fact. Brand new Team Transport. Going to be in stores very soon. Mattel sent me these so I can showcase them for you, and I am very eager to do that for a reason different than typical with these kind of sets with Team Transport. I'm more interested in the haulers than I am the cars. I think the cars are going to be fantastic. We'll definitely take a close look at those. But ultimately, it's the haulers I'm more interested in. And that theme is kind of running through Mattel right now. If you watch the Jay Leno diorama set showcase I did, you notice that I put most of my focus on this one, on the hauler. The cars were fine, but the hauler, the Blue Wonder, the fascinating, really interesting looking Mercedes-Benz hauler from uh, the mid 50s, was a very, very welcome addition to the premium collection. And I'm really, really digging this model, even more so since I've, since I've filmed this video, uh, that video, I've been really into that hauler, really excited they did it. And I think they did a fantastic job. We don't have licensed haulers with the two new haulers we're doing, but we have interesting haulers, that is for sure. So we're gonna have a look. So let's start with the one hauler that we are familiar with already. It is the Sakura Sprinter. And it's paired with the Mad Mike Mazda RX-3 GT. I believe this is the RX-3 casting that we've seen before. Here is the artwork. There's Mad Mike's logo, which is fantastic. Love the art here. I believe Julian Coyles. Just a beautiful background. Just love what they've done here. There is the back of it with the three sets. You can see the models. I'll just show them to you real quickly. Yeah, that is the uh, normal RX-3 casting they've done for premium. There is that for when it hits for those of you who use that to find these, but let's get right to it. Don't know if there's anything I need to showcase on the on the packaging, so let's just go ahead and open it up. Like I said, we're gonna go, I usually go hauler first, then car, but we're gonna do the opposite here and go car first, then hauler. I'm gonna move the camera down just a tad here. Let's pull these out. All right. Here we go. Like I said, we'll do the car first. And to be honest, it's actually quite cool to start with the car first. In this case, this, the RX-3 has not looked like this before with the, I mean, it's the same casting, but the details here, well, the paint job's not great, but the way they've done the bolt-ons with the wheels, these, uh, the wheel wells here in that jet, jet black, they put the, Mad Mike logo on the windshield. Nice, very simple deco on the sides. In this case, the orange is not great, right? It just kind of, it's not totally consistent. It's a little thicker on top and a little, a uh, little more dead on the side. Still, it's a cool, it's a cool looking version of this casting. It hasn't looked like this before. Black Steelies look really good on this one. It's a nice car. It's a nice car. But the hauler, and I'm doing the I'm doing the turntable shots inside the studio because I really want to show off these uh, these models today. Uh, but I but here they are. But here is the hauler. Same color combination, same deco combination. You got the Hot Wheels Rotiform, K and N, NGK. Nice decos on the side. Classic Toyo tires, which is kind of cool too. Closes up on the back with the black door. It's a nice hauler. Black Steelies on this one as well. I think the hauler's really, really nice. They go a little bit wider, right? So the car can fit in that. But sometimes, you know, it's the cab that has all the detail and the uh, trailer that has, you know, less. But in, that, in this case, it's different, which is kind of cool with all of the uh, Mad Mike stuff. So we'll put those over here. And let's talk about this Golf set. All right, our first new hauler. So let's just get right to it. The model is the Di Tommaso Pantera Grupo 4. In a normal showcase, I might bring out the old version, which was released last year in Boulevard. Beautiful casting by Mark Jones. We're going to look at this one. And then the second story, Lori. It's great just for the name, is it not? Is it not? So let's get to it. I don't know if there's moving parts. It looks like there is. I don't know. I guess maybe just the back, but uh, let's do it. There's the artwork. Looking really cool. Look, like it's raining. Is that what he's kind of, is that kind of the vibe he's gone with here? I think he has. You don't need to see that. Let's just open this up. Slide this out. Put this here. 
put that right here and let's have a look. Okay, so we're all gonna, gonna find out, oh, it has a little plastic piece here holding the car in place. So let's just figure that out. You know, for the sake of packaging, they gotta do what they gotta do, but I gotta, <laughs> I gotta figure out how to do this. Oh, here we go, I think. Yeah, you're gonna have to be a little careful here. Take this little plastic piece, move that off to the side for now. All right, we'll get to this hauler in a second. Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, car looks awesome. I really like the uh, the first version of the Di Tommaso that they that Hot Wheels did. This one in Golf. Sometimes Golf. We've all, we've all kind of said it. Golf seems to be overplayed, but this one is really clean. I really dig this version of it, especially with the two-tone look with the orange on the bottom and obviously the light blue on top and the stripe down the middle. The Pantera is beautiful. Really, really dig this one. Holding it at this angle really has a cool look, does it not? I think that one's awesome. Okay. I really like the cars so far. I think the execution could be a little bit better, but uh, I really like the cars so far. Let's talk about this hauler. So it's obviously unlicensed outside of the livery, the Golf. This top part, I'm just trying to see. I don't think, so the top part is plastic. This is plastic. This bottom piece is metal. Obviously the cab is metal. And then it has this plastic door that kind of slides a little bit. It is, it is on the back. So you can snap that in. Here, I'm going to move the camera down in more so you can kind of see this. So snap that in. So there's how it looks like. There's what it looks like. You can pop that out. And then by rotating this up to the top, you now have a ramp. So the car can... It's not perfect because the car is going to have to go over those lumps. But, but the car then fits in. It can't totally get, eh, maybe it can kind of get inside, but it's there. And then, of course, you have room for one. We don't have, a, do I have a second car here? Yeah, from when I filmed the Mercedes set. There. Or the uh, Leno set, there. So, it is capable. Let's see if it snaps into place perfectly. Yeah, that's kind of cool. There's a lip there so the car doesn't roll off the front. So, the hauler is capable of carrying three cars. Maybe for the uh, turntable shot, I'll find three Golf to make this kind of a cool set. But for now, well, and you're looking at it now, I just have to film it afterwards, right? But that looks really, really good. Digging that hauler. And obviously we're gonna see this one because it's just, we're gonna see one car with it in Team Transport and with other sets, right? But you're gonna, they're going to roll this one out a lot because it's great for collectors to be able to use, put three cars on a hauler as opposed to just one or two or whatever. That's a really, really cool set. So we'll move that off to the side. I'm going to move that off to the side. And let's talk about this Liberty Walk set. Camera goes up once again. This is the one that uh, is going to be wildly popular. There's no doubt about it. You have this kind of Liberty Walk set, right? The Fast and Furious set that's been out Target exclusive. It's just the Liberty Walk Skyline um, done as the uh, as Brian's Fast and Furious R34 Skyline. So this one has already kind of gotten that Liberty Walk. We had, we've had this casting used in the modal set, right? But this is a purely Liberty Walk set with a new hauler. It is the Flip Sider hauler. It's got a moving part and the LB Silhouette GT Nissan 35 GTRR version 2. So this is the basic that is now being converted into a premium, which is very exciting to see. And it's going to be just so fantastic in that deco. But I'll say the, the first thing you notice with this set is how heavy it is. This is a heavy hauler. I don't know if that's plastic here. I know that's metal, but... And this is also... It's a trailer and cab. I'll let you look at the artwork. That's Liberty Walk Studios in Japan. They have that backdrop Hot Wheels uh, mock-up of a toy, of a card back. So that's really cool. Let's just open this. Excited. This is undoubtedly the most interesting set of this release. It's also got a little piece of protect protective piece of plastic 
one problem with the, oh man, that's like, this is three pieces. Just the one problem with, uh, with haulers like this is it hides the car, but here, we'll just get this all put together. We're going to get to the hauler, but let's start with the car, the four, or four, the Nissan GTR Liberty Walk GTR done up with the uh, Liberty Walk kit on it. Love the grill, love the details. Obviously this is done at just, it's done as a tribute to the Sylvia, right? The super silhouette Sylvia that was raced. They've already, they, uh, Liberty Walk did the Sylvia, which Hot Wheels replicated, but this is done in that deco, going back to the era of the super silhouettes in the 80s. Um, and that's what this deco is, the Lightning Bolt number 23. Really, really nice car. Nice to see it in premium. I like the first versions of this release. I didn't like the second ones. And so I'm happy to have it in premium, but we'll put off to the side and let's talk about this hauler. All right, so two pieces here. I don't know if they're, okay, so yeah. All right, let's start. So we actually now have a cab, which is very nice. It has a metal chassis. This piece is plastic, obviously real riders. They look really good and a metal metal cab. It's got a window. I can't tell. Does it have an interior? I think it does. Yeah, it has an interior. So we can just put this on the turntable by itself. First time I think we've done that in this, right? And I mean, they have those other haulers that they do, but for premium, for team transport, this is the first one. I'll show you how it attaches. There's this piece and they have this, I don't think it's magnetized, but just you pull it in and it kind of just pulls back like that. Oh, did I show that? I don't know if I showed that properly. Let's do that again. Just goes in and it just kind of, doesn't necessarily snap in. Move this down again, but it moves. Doesn't turn perfectly, but I think there are some limitations there. All right, let's talk about this cab. Very, very small wheels on it. I don't know, are those real riders? Yeah, they are. I think. Yeah, they're real riders. I can't tell what rims are on them, though. So, this has opening pieces to it, too. Back, there's that plastic piece to hold the car in. So the door, that just kind of fits in. It doesn't necessarily snap in, but it fits in nicely. And then, of course, this piece opens up as well. We'll take this little plastic piece out and that sits up like that. So of course we can put this together, open this back door which obviously serves as a ramp and our little GTR fits in perfectly, pops up. There's a little bit of a slope there and the tires fit. Look at that. That actually looks really cool. Look at that. It just displays, make sure I'm holding this right. It actually displays really nice with that slight ramp there. Has a really cool framing, does it not? Oh, I just think that looks awesome. And then we'll just close it up. Car does fit, so it can hide in there too. I'm telling you guys, I think this is a really, really cool set. You guys could tell me what you think, but I think this Liberty Walk truck, I like this hauler the best. It's the most interesting. Three call hauler is actually really cool too. The best hauler is the Mercedes. But between the diorama set and this team transport, we have got some really, really cool stuff. You guys tell me what you think. Which one's your favorite? That Liberty Walk is going to be gobbled up. Thanks, everybody. Bye.